Hey guys, this is Mitch the Lawn Guy here. Hey, I decided to show you some equipment today. Got the mowers all doing cleanups lately, so I might as well show you guys what some of the mowers I got. Cause I got about eight more that float around to the other guys, but I got the, my 72 inch walk behind. I got the flat front deck on this one, and the other one I got the 72 with advantage deck front. And I put the dual wheel kits on. I love these because like anything for a special fall time, that thing will just mulch everything right up and bag it real clean. Big pile of the lead, done problem. And same with a new sod. The dual wheels, it doesn't scalp or anything, it floats a little better and glides right or easier than using this 36 for a new sod, more of a pain in the butt. Then I got my button 61. I put the dual wheels on it also to help it out for traction and everything because the original came with the inner tires, or as you can tell, are the solid foam tires which would flatten out when you're on a hill or a pain in the butt. And this one you can see I made my own exhaust for it and everything. The original Magnum went bad on a couple years ago, the core. So I stuck a 27 horse V-twin. Then uh, I got my 52 inch velocity deck. The Kawasaki motor went bad about two years ago so I hate Kawasaki and I got tired of messing with it bearing problems in them so I stuck a 22 horse v-twin on it and this one I modified the velocity deck a little bit cut a little better in wet grass and made my own electric start for it and everything on this one so I got my leaf plow on the side of the trailer I keep for the fall time if I need it my one of my homemade dispatchers works real good you see I make about everything make my own gas can bin for the big one here Put my spare tire on the side of the trailer. Need my little toolbox for it's kind of messy now, but makes it a little easier if you want to haul stuff up. Oh, need a key for it, it's locked. Then I got my own bagger holder to hold one of the baggers for when I need all the time. But this trailer I did build it probably about five years ago. 21 footer. I made it so it's plenty long. You can put backup lights and everything on and strobe lights on the side and made my own double gate assist holder for it. Yep, got 36, got my 72. Yeah, if I can get you a shot here. Yeah, you can really see the difference on how wide it puts the deck out. Everything, yeah, and the 72 here. I make these two repair panels because they always wear down from over time. So I'd make those and sell them. Got one of my mower jacks I built. I keep it on here for springtime for Get a lot of grass built up under the decks and you just flip the rider up or the walk behinds and clean everything right out. Makes it a little easier. Yeah, I'll show you a little bit more of everything I got. Yeah, I got my own my one of my V-box sanders. I put these on made so it stands up. Kind of like a DLT truck, so you got your own legs, you just lift the dump bed, fold the front leg down and slide these down and just pull right out. It's got a roller on the front. But if you want to use a loader to lift it out, you can. It makes it nice. You can get it right out of there and out of the way and everything. But yeah, just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of what I got and everything. Because I got a couple three-wheel riders. That one of them I'm going to convert over to a four-wheel in the back. So you don't have that extra stripe in the middle. Some turf tigers. And I use all Echo equipment. Echo, Husqvarna, or even some Red Max. Shandala stuff. But yeah, just I'd show you a little bit what I got. Thanks for watching.